Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Travel Comber, and I'm hoping you're having a great day. I just got back from Dollywood and went to the Flower Food Festival, and boy, did we really enjoy that. We really enjoyed the flowers and the ambiance. Oh, it was just a wonderful experience. But today is about the food and the food festival part of it. And is this dining pass worth it? Well, we spent the time, we looked at the internet, and we saw some wonderful food. So the questions maybe I want to have answered when I went there. One, did it live up to the advertisement? Two, did it live up to the hype? And three, was this pass worth it? Well, let's go find out. Come join me right after this quick introduction. When we did the roller coaster thing, and it was time to get some snacks, it was time to search out those great Flower Food Festival cuisines. You know, we wanted to try that beef bagogi nacho, you know, the unique nacho flavor marinated steak, and the traditional spicy and sweet South Korean sauce served on crispy fried wonton chips. It sounded really good to us. My daughter was looking forward to that strawberry lemonade, that tart taste of fresh squeezed lemonade, combined perfectly with sweet, juicy strawberries. Who wouldn't want that? It sounded great. So we headed off to that first kiosk and say, hey, let's get some food. Three. So we went to that festival fair kiosk. We looked at the menu, we studied it. We saw the food coming off and it looked pretty good. Matter of fact, it looked quite like the advertisement. So, hey, this was the place to be. The lines were short. The guy taking orders was quite helpful. Matter of fact, he was quite humorous. We enjoyed the interaction we had. We bought our dining pass right there. It was about $32 after tax. So that means the five items, each item would be about $6.40 a piece. So the question is, is it worth it right here? Can we buy that sample or should we buy the larger food item? It costs a little bit more, but you get maybe about twice as much. Well, we just wanted the taste. So certainly the samples are what we were looking for. So we went for it. We also purchased the all-day drink. You know, that was a pretty good deal. We had a lot of drinks through the day, and I tell you, I think it was worth the money. Do you want me to give you a tip? Yes, give us a tip. So, if you have a season pass, you can go and request the gold pass button, and they will give you a discount on the festival food. So don't forget to ask for that if you have the gold pass button. What's that? What's the gold pass button? Now it's time to try that food. That beef, the gold jay, nachos. It looked just like it should have. It was really made, it looked great. The only issues we had was the beef itself. You know, it says that the beef was marinated at steak strips, and it probably was. The only problem we had with it is the steak was as tough as leather. You know, we had to bite it, pull with our teeth, break it apart, but it tasted good. We purchased a strawberry lemonade separately. We found it financially better to do that than was to use a dining pass. We found the lemonade to be refreshing, but very weak, not much lemon taste. Though the strawberry was, as it advertised, juicy. And basically it was a good combo. After a few more rides and a great afternoon, it was time to move on for another snack. We wanted the Cuban sandwich, the lobster roll, the spinach and artichoke dip, and of course, the fresh bear and lavender funnel cake. And now it's time to order, sit down, and enjoy. So this is the Cuban, part of our punch pass. Can I pass you that punch pass for a second? Everybody? So we've uh, used them all. We're gonna give it a try here and see how they they taste. Um, the Cuban doesn't look too bad though. Looks like a full sandwich. Looks like a full good old sandwich there. Looks really good actually. This one right here, I don't know what type of chip we got. We got a uh, bag of chips. Ba chips. Bag of uh, kettle, kettle chips. chips with it. Sea salt. No pita chips basically, just crumbs, pita crumbs. 
and my uh, good old. It's getting cold. What is Can it? I eat? Can we eat now? My funnel cake without hoteli. Where's my pita chips? So it's about, I don't know, two o'clock and we just thought we'd stop and get some food. So um, we're finding out that by about two o'clock they're running out of food for the, for the festival. So like on this um, funnel cake, we didn't get the fresh flowers on top. They were out of them. And then we went over and got the lobster roll and the gals were worried about they were gonna run out of lobster. And so she got a little bit skimpy on the rolls. They look a little dry. They did give us a, a container of chips to go with it, but I won't have them here. And then the pita chips, they're all broken like they're in the bottom of the bag. They're worried again, they were gonna run out of chips. Um, the lemonades, we tried to get a couple of different flavors of lemonades and they're all out of it. And again, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know, it just seems like the kitchen isn't getting refilling the stands or what it is, but we'll try it and see how we like it. Is it worth $32? I don't know. We haven't tried it yet. Let's right. eat it and see. I'm just a little disappointed that they're worried and they're running out of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of odd. It seems like the festival just began a few weeks ago. Well, or if they just had it for the day and they're running out for the day. But the kitchen isn't getting more food out. It's only 2 o'clock. It o is really good. Okay. Interesting. There you got it from an expert. Let's look at this Cuban sandwich first. The Cuban sandwich is supposed to be piled high with marinated mojo pork, Virginia ham, and Swiss cheese, and is grilled until the bread is golden brown. It is served with plantain chips and mango salsa. And you can see in this picture, this is how it's supposed to be. And this is what we got. Let's taste it and see if it's good. So here's the Cuban. The bread says it all. It's just just dried out, completely dried out. It has a really good mustard taste. If you like mustard, you can't taste anything else. The only thing it tastes is dried out bread and mustard. Now let's look at it. And again, the bread just now I know it's supposed to be a fried bread, or at least a pressed, pressed. bread on it. And and uh, but they may just press it a little bit longer than maybe it should be. So my thought is, come on a busier day, and you probably have better food. This came with the Cuban. They are plantains, with a little bit of uh, people got the gallo on it. Um, mango, mango salsa. salsa. Mango salsa. See, I'm mistaken on it. Is a banana. That's like a banana. Mm -hmm. They do have some good taste to them. Mango salsa, not bad. Chips are has the right crunchiness, but not so crunchy that it's breaking my teeth. I like them. Now it's time for that lobster roll. I love lobster rolls. It is made from Maine lobster meat tossed with diced celery, mayonnaise, lemon juice, and seasoned to perfection. Served on a spit-top frankfurter roll grilled with butter and celery seeds. And then a bag of salt and vinegar chips. This is what they advertise. Huge pieces of lobster claw. This is what we got. Shredded lobster from a bag, maybe from a can. Do they have lobster meat in a can? They might. Look at that lobster. Ooh, doesn't look the same to me. So I'm eating that lobster roll. And the, the lobster in there is not really, it's kind of like a shred lobster. And it kind of tastes like the crab you get out of a bag. Probably not the best lobster roll I have. It is a lobster roll. Bread is soft. That's good. It's good bread. Um, needs a little more mayonnaise, but it's a lobster roll. And now it's time to do that side, that spinach artichoke dip. This creamy dip features spinach, artichoke, hearts, and gouda. It's topped with Parmesan cheese. Crisp pita chips served as a perfect dipper. Now we didn't see an advertisement or pictures of that, 
but certainly here's the one we got and it did look very delicious. The problem is not a whole lot of pita chips. This is the spinach artichoke dip. It has some pita chips, not very many. I tell you, it's not good. That's just me. You don't like artichokes. Don't like artichokes. Some people probably think this is just wonderful. And what about that funnel cake? Fresh beer and lavender funnel cake just made for that flower and food festival. It's made from Dollywood's famous funnel cake, but it's topped with blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and chantilly cream. Chantilly cream is twice as sweet as whipped cream. It is dizzled with lavender honey and finished with some edible orchid petals. Or at least it should be. Here is the example or what they advertise. This is what we got. Notice, no edible orchid petals. How sad. And ours is pretty sad looking with melted cream. So the uh, food festival, I bought the funnel cake that's supposed to be part of that flower festival. It's sad. You know, I love a good funnel cake and this is probably a good tasting funnel cake, but it doesn't look what they advertise. I supposed to have little flowers on it. And what I got is just some runny whipped cream, one maybe, I guess one blue, I guess that's a uh, blackberry and a couple of raspberries, but it has no resemblance of what they advertise. So he's paying about six bucks for this thing. I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Now I got the funnel cake, right? Funnel cake is going to be a funnel cake. Very good. No crunchy on the outside, soft in the center, just like a funnel cake should be made. So that's a good thing. But who doesn't like a funnel cake? And then we're off to get some mountain paella and some charred corn and arugula salad. Off we go. The mountain paella is a combination of smoked sausages, beef strips, golden peas, and chicken. All seasoned with thyme, salt, and pepper. That dish smelled great. Okay, what is paella? Uh, rice and sausage and some chicken with some veggies in there. Tastes like uh, Spanish rice with tomato sauce on it. Not bad. So what's your what's that? This is the grilled corn and arugula salad. Okay, and how much was that? Six dollars. Six dollars. Now, did you get the full salad? I got whatever the menu said it was. Wow. Not much. Not much. No, not much. As you can see, that charred corn and arugula salad, there was fresh arugula and charred corn tossed with white balsamic vinegar, topped with a thinly sliced red onion, basil, and edible flower petals as garnished. Just not a lot for six bucks. So let's go on and wrap this up. Let me answer those questions. Did it live up to the hype? And I'm going to say, yes, it did. It was fun to go from kiosk to kiosk and enjoy a family activity of doing something at Dollywood that dealt with eating. The second part was, did it live up to the advertisement of the food? And the answer is no. None of the food looked like what they were advertising. But that's okay. It's a theme park and you're going to expect that. You get that from the Epcot you know, Food Festival too, don't you? It's just about the same thing and about the same price. Third, was it worth $32? Well, the food wasn't, that's for sure. But the entertainment value was. We enjoyed jumping around and trying these things. And if we didn't buy the pass, we wouldn't have done it. 
So would I do this again? Oh no, not even. But, you know, it was fun for the first time and jumping around trying these different foods. I probably would just buy the food I would want to eat and enjoy. Now, would I do that if I had a large budget and could do this several times? Oh yeah, it could be fun. If I had a very low budget and just want to get in and out of the park, oh, don't waste your money. So that's how I think. It's kind of a mixed uh, juggling. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, it was good enough. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me tell you, enjoy the rest of your day. Hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. I hope you like this content. And don't forget to hit that notification button, especially if you want to see more content like this. This is the Travel Comber, signing off. Thank you.